Welcome back to the JV Sports Show. So that's an oldie but a goodie, Sun Devil Fight song there. And uh, we are joined by uh, on the line by a couple of good friends of mine. Uh, I've known uh, this gentleman for years and years and years. He's older than me. Uh, and uh, <laughs> a young lady that uh, got to know uh, recently and does a great job in the local broadcast community. Mr. Juan Roque and Ms. Brittany Boyer, hosts of the Sun Devil Worldwide podcast. Good morning, guys. I don't know about this to be being older than you stuff, but okay. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, Juan, this segment is only about 10 minutes long, so we're going to have to, you know, I know you like to talk, but uh, we're a little limited on time. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. How are you guys? Brittany, are you there? Brit? Oh, man. I'm oh, good. I'm doing great. There. I think it's funny you just called Juan's bluff right there. He does like to talk a lot. But, you know, I, I kind of am the same. Um, I ramble, but I think I do it a little bit more. Uh, I don't go as frequently as Juan does, so people forget that I also am a rambler. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I want to talk about so a couple things. Obviously, we're going to talk a little bit of ASU sports. I want to talk about your podcast. I want to talk about all the, the things that you guys are doing out there. Uh, you're hustling uh, and uh, and really getting a lot of work done, getting a lot of it, it, you know exposure. Uh, Britt, let's start with you. Um, you know, obviously, uh, we partnered up at the beginning of football season. Uh, we had some some things that went on related to everything that's going on, but uh, we're bringing you back. <laughs> Listen to yeah. this. You talk about a double whammy. We're all set to bring you back. You were going to work basketball with us at Saguaro, and then yesterday happened. Um, you know. You can't get as upset when yesterday happens, you know. It's one of those things where it's kind of like, I mean, yes, you're upset, but um, it's impacting 30,000 student athletes as well. So it's more of like, you know, this is like everyone is feeling this, you know. The whole season's canceled. I mean, I don't know. It's just, I, I don't know if I've even processed it completely yet. Yeah. Well, we got a lot of work to do that we can do virtually. So, if uh, uh, if you're willing, uh, we're gonna we're gonna tap your expertise here uh, going forward. And uh, oh, I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> so, what else you've been doing out there? Uh, well, we have Sun Devils Worldwide. We've been working on. Um, I freelance for Scorebook Live, which is a new company that's moving into Arizona. They started on the West Coast and they're moving east. It's a little bit uh, less traditional than normal. But um, I do some stuff for them, and uh, I've been freelancing as well for All Sports Tucson. So, you know, kind of expanding my range of my work, I guess, and who I'm talking to in my audience. Yeah. Well, I saw you did a little bit for Monday Night Football as well. Uh, yeah, that was completely just uh, accidental. I don't want to say accidental, but it kind of fell in my lap. So, John Alvarado somebody who I know very well in the sports community, and I know a lot of people know him as well. Uh, he hit me up and just asked me if I happened to be busy that night because they were looking for extra people, and yeah. I sent them my, in, my resume, and they brought me on to do lighting and stuff with Monday Night Football. So that was an awesome experience, too. Awesome, for sure. And, uh, okay, and so Juan. So, I, Juan, I've known you now, gosh, 26 years. It's been a, it's, I think it's it been a like, murder sentence. It's been a murder sentence. It's been a long time. <laughs> and yeah, and, and, you know, obviously All-American, ASU football, we, we got to know each other way back when, uh, when I was working there. And uh, um, you, you, you tried your hand. You did a little bit of broadcasting, did some commentary for ASU football. Now you got this, this gig with Sun Devils Worldwide. Tell us about this. Well, it's, and, and before I even go there, uh, just so you know, we, we should be thankful that we got Britt working with us now because I'm going to tell you what, she's going to go places and one day, you know, kind of maybe like Mike Golick on ESPN, we're going to be able to look one day and go, we used to work with her. <laughs> so she, she's going to yeah. definitely do some great things uh, in her career. She's just barely starting. So um, no it's going to be fun that. to see her develop that. And that's why I wanted to, uh, her as a co-host because the energy and the knowledge and the passion she brings is just unmatched. I mean, it's awesome what she brings to the show. Now, as far as the Sun Devils Worldwide itself, you know, I was approached by Dave Pratt, the mayor, um, to do a podcast specifically about ASU football. And really, the, the concept of it is to try to think of subjects and, and, and top, talking points that are a little outside the box, things that maybe you're not going to see on the prominent websites, on the, on the news networks, and things like that. And then we can discuss those topics and, and bring them to light. You know, we're, we're still 
I would say we're still in the in the garage band phase of it where I don't think we have a final product of what we're really going to do. So it's fun to do this. You know, we, we, we do different types of, of discussions, topics, you know, but uh, as, as the show evolves, you know, hopefully we're going to make it specifically to, to, you know, the topics that really no one wants to talk about or that no one, that, that people are not bringing up so that we can bring them up and, and bring them to light and, and get people like Gene Boyd or Ray Anderson to talk about what's going on specifically in the culture and in the locker room and, and in the program in general. So speaking of which, it, give us give us an idea. What is going on out there in Tempe right now? Just well, the as you know, they, they didn't go to a bowl game. Um, and, and, you know, we, we Britt and I will get into, you know, okay, why did this happen? You know, is this something, you know, that should have should have taken place? Just getting into really the, the maybe the fan perspective, the alumni perspective. You know, she has a, a sports reporter perspective. She has a football fan perspective. Right. As perspective. I have a former player perspective. Yeah, so yeah. we bring all that to light and to talk about, okay, what's going on and why is it going on and how do we feel about it and maybe how the fan base would feel about it. So right now, as you know, they're preparing events. It's very similar to 95. You know, we lost that U of A game at the end yeah. of the year. It was heartbreaking. And we regrouped and we recommitted and we all showed up that January and we were ready to roll. And you saw that led into that 1996 season. So I see a lot of similarities there. And I think right now the state of the program is strong. They just had to do what they had to do for player safety. And everyone just has to kind of take a step back and let it play out. And hopefully we'll have a regular season, a real regular season this year. Are they, uh, are they, are they doing some off season workouts right now? I mean, is that, are they pretty heavy in, in that, uh, uh, what are they? What what is going on this very well, moment? Well, from what I understand, it's going to be just SOP like we used to. They're going to show up. They're going to work out. The school starts very soon. Um, the nuts and bolts of you know online classes and how that's not going to work. I mean, obviously that's not something I'm involved in. But uh, from what I understand, they're coming back and they're coming back this week. So tomorrow, the players will start heading back, and I believe Monday they they're going to start and they're going to rock and roll. Wow, um, Britt, uh, you know how are you feeling about things in Tempe? I mean, uh, you know, you, you heard Juan's perspective there. Tell us a little bit about what you know, kind of keeping your ear to the ground and what you're hearing out there with other sports um, too. I agree a hundred percent with what Juan says. My biggest thing is that I feel like there's a lot of fans on social media that are running their mouths right now just about stupid things, you know. And that goes for all sports. You know, they're talking about the state of the football program. They're two and two. I mean, realistically, it was a four minute meltdown in the last or in the first game against USC in the of the last four minutes and then you had a UCLA game that the team had one practice against. So realistically, when you look at how they continue to improve throughout the season, they're retaining all these players going into next year. They're utilizing the NCAA's uh like allowance of transfers. So, you know, they're really set up to do great next year. And I am so ecstatic for the opportunities that are ahead for the program. And also, I know that this sounds a little selfish, but for myself as a journalist to potentially get to cover some of this as they continue to grow. Um, yeah. And I just can't wait to see what they end up doing. So I have a really good feeling going into this, uh, this upcoming year. And uh, I, I kind of hope some other people will reevaluate uh, their current mindset and maybe think about some other factors when making their decision on how they feel so i have to tell you you guys are in the presence of greatness you know last year i got to be the pa announcer for the women's lacrosse team at asu and i got my schedule yesterday nine games i'm doing all the games for asu women's lacrosse i was so ecstatic after the the aia's decision you know with high school athletics in the winter i get this email um from uh um uh one of the operations folks for uh, the women's lacrosse team. And they said, uh, you know, do you want to come back and do some games for us? And they gave me the schedule. I was like, yes, I don't even care what time the games are, when they are. I want to do all the games. So I say that. No, listen, I say that because I want to be on your podcast because I'm doing, I'm working ASU sports. You got to have me on. Uh, I'm up for it, but you have to do me a favor, Vince. You got to let them know that I want to get back in the ASU gymnastics scene and do sideline reporting for them again this year. So done. let them know. Done. All right, because I I won't. I'm not going to be big time until I get on your podcast. I've been screaming at Juan for a year, and even my mom, who is like Juan's biggest fan, it drives me nuts. It, it's it's like another. It's like a, a stepbrother's part two. 
I feel like uh, I feel like Brennan and Dale, and and Juan is Derek, the favorite son, and it's driving me crazy because my mom always talks about Juan Roque. She well, calls him Juan Italian, Rocky. Brother. You got yeah, to learn to speak Italian. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Anyway, so my mom says hello. She's listening right now, by the way. So I don't know if you want to say something to her, but uh, 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 Bonjour, Anna. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all right, guys. Thank you so much, Juan Roque and Brittany Boyer, Sun Devils Worldwide. Juan, uh, you know, your guys' uh, resumes, Juan and Britt, speak for themselves. Uh, much, much longer than just this this uh, show that you're doing now. And look forward to working with you through the uh, winter and into the spring, and and uh, having you back on. Yeah, so it's Thank been a pleasure. So much, it's great. And, um, you know, it's, honor, it's an honor working with Britt as well. You know, we're, like I said, we're still in that garage band phase. We're trying to put this together the right way, but I think it definitely has a future. And you do a great job with JV. Keep up the good work, man. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Okay. Well, guys, that was, uh, that's another show, man. I, I you know, I, I want to start off uh, in, in 2021 here. You know, we do our best to keep it positive, And that's, that's the whole idea. We're not, you know, we're not doing this thing with rose colored glasses, obviously, things going on in the world. Uh, but we want to focus on bringing the best of what's going on in our community and going forward. By all means, reach out to us, hit us up on Twitter, uh, YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much to our show partners. Um, uh, Vets Built Contracting, Bob Jenkins over there, Bob and DJ, TBA Training Better Athletes, Coach Ron Sowers working with those linemen. Uh, we've got um, uh, uh, our friends out at Stessa Movement Company, Angel Dentistry, and, uh, and so much more. Uh, thanks again. Thanks to our guest today, a veteran broadcaster, Jeff Munn. Uh, Derek Diesner, who's going to be working, we'll, he and I will be working together, broadcasting a bunch of games this year and periodically uh, on the show as well. Uh, thanks, Derek. Uh, thank you so much to our friends from NYFCA, Jason Hirsch, uh, Joey LaRock, and Michael Namath. Uh, thanks again to uh, Coach Lucas Ramirez with the Saguaro Sports Report. We got a lot of good stuff on the horizon, folks. Stick with us, JV Sports Show. And coming up next, Easy Ed Smith and Javon Adams with the Easy Sports Show 10 to 12. We'll lead right into that. What a great way to start off Saturday. Thanks again. Vince Delicio out. Go JV. Have a great week, everyone. And go JV.